Hi there, welcome to another video and this time we're reviewing the iPhone 11. So um, I'm just going to pass you over to Eamon and he's going to review it for you. So go on Eamon. Okay, so we're just going to unbox it. So you have the iPhone 11 here. It absolutely looks really nice. And then you just have the the earpods and then the charger. I don't think, yeah, it doesn't come with the fast charger. I think only the iPhone 11 does. Whereas just the, just the iPhone 11. No, the iPhone 11 Pro has a fast charger. So we'll just put the box to the side. And then now we're just going to unseal it. This side. And now, there it is. Now we're just going to charge it. We're just going to turn it on. And then I'll just say a few things about the new phone. There you go, now it's on. So with the new iPhone 11, it has a 6.0-inch liquid retina display. And um, it has a glass and aluminium design, whereas the iPhone 11 Pro has a textured matte glass and stainless steel design. Uh, the iPhone 11 Pro has a um, 5.8 inch Super Retina XDR display. So it should start, so I'll just swipe it up. Choose English. I'll show that my country is United Kingdom. And it's just going to start. We're just going to set up manually. And now we're just going to choose our Wi Fi. Let's quickly choose it. Enjoy. And as you can see, it's really fast starting up. Uh, it's got an, 18, um, an A13 bionic chip uh, with the third neural engine. And it now runs at 4K video recording with 24fps, 30fps and 60fps. It also has a 12 megapixel camera and it's even got fuck and faster face ID from um, from the previous last year's um, model. So I'm just going to set up face ID just quickly. Just going to face, face it there. This shouldn't take too long. Alright, now the face. Alright, now that one's done. Okay. Face ID is now set up. Uh, oh, I think this is. Okay, we're just going to set up the pin. Uh, yep. Now that we've just entered the pin, we're just going to go through the setup process and um, I'll just tell you a few other things about the phone. It comes already on uh, Moodle 400. No, we don't need any of that. Uh, I guess we also need to put a car cover. Okay, so we're just um, in our last steps. I've just finished up setting my Apple ID. So we're just going to continue with the True tone display. Uh, we're going to set it to dark mode, which is one of the new features in iOS 13, which is really nice. Uh, we're just going to do standard text, and then we're just going to go right back to the home page. Uh, and this is just telling us a few tips and tricks. And then we're just going to swipe up. And I'm just going to lock my phone. So this is the. Oh, all right, we're just getting prompt with a few messages. So this is the new, um, the new iPhone 11. And it seems to be running perfectly fine right now. So we're just going to start any apps. So for example, camera. Actually, I haven't started, I haven't, hold on, sorry. It's just prompting us. So actually, this is a new option, which isn't with the last one, actually. It says new camera, see and capture the area outside the frame of the photo or recommended video to, um, to improve composition. So we're just going to press continue. And now this is just going to show you what the camera looks like. So the camera actually looks really nice. So if you if you see here, there's this is the zoom. So you can actually choose which zoom you like it to be. So this is the I think the wide angle camera and then this is the this is the the, the second camera which is he's using. And now it's just the selfie camera is a bit different. So when you change it, it's a little bit different. And then this is portrait. So the same thing. And I'll just show you a couple of photos of how it's going to look in a bit. 
Now, if we just open settings, you can just see the speed of the phone. Oh, don't know what that was. So, just like that. Don't know why it's doing that, actually. I have no idea. I guess it's starting, I think. Okay, that's odd. Don't think it should be doing that. But if you can just see, it opens super fast. So that's a good sign. And um, looking at the specs, it's a bit more heavier than the last mod year, um, year's model, which is the XS. It's just um, the height of it is 150 nine millimeters and the width is 75.7 millimeters and the weight is 194 grams which is a bit more heavier than last year's model as well it's prompting with me so much things but I don't know I'm just gonna press continue oh all right okay so um, the front camera has a true depth camera which is just on the back here uh, it's got 12 megapixel photos with the 2.2 aperture Retina did flash and a next generation smart HDR for photos. The um, portrait mode is still here um, and it's got now got two cameras. Whereas last year's model it could do portrait with one camera, but I guess using two cameras gives you more accessibility and it just ha allows so much more. Um, you can see the the flash here and then the microphone. It's also now got um, night mode, which is really nice. And just from looking at the face ID. We just unlock it. It's it's amazingly fast. Like, let's try again. It's it's faster than Touch ID and safer, which is amazing. So you just open a couple of apps. So. It has 4K video recording, like I said, and it's um, uh, it lasts one more hour longer than the iPhone XR. So this is the second generation of the iPhone XR. They replaced it with the iPhone. Uh, they replaced it, calling it iPhone 11, rather than calling it I don't know 11R. Um, so this would be the um, the replacement for just the XR, and then they would have the 11 Pro, which is kind of the normal, um, the full like upgraded version of the new XS. Um, looking at all the other specs, it looks to be very similar to the iPhone 11 Pro. The only difference is uh, to do with the actual display. It only has uh, a 1920 by 820x, um, 828 pixel resolution at 326 ppi, whereas the iPhone 11 Pro has a, a HDR display, which obviously this doesn't, as it has a liquid retina display. It has 2436 by 1125 pixel resolution at 458 ppi um, yep. so that's a big difference and looking at the contrast ratio it's only got 1400 to 1 and whereas this is a really big difference whereas iPhone 11 has a 2 million to 1 contrast ratio and then the iPhone 11 um, uh, sorry iPhone um, XS has a 1 million to 1 contrast ratio so as you can see this just proves that that's the, one of the cons to this phone. I mean, overall, it looks like a great phone. It is a great phone. It feels great, and just the glass and aluminium design makes it look so nice. It's um, it's very similar to the iPhone Seven and the X, uh, same uh, same back, and um, however, with the old iPhones, um, I'm not sure which ones. If it's the iPhone XS or is this a brand new change? The Apple logo has kind of moved down. I guess to kind of fit in the middle and just not to make it too up so it looks closer to the camera. Um, if I just show you this um, this other phone, it's um, way much up more higher to the camera. And then if you look at this one, the Apple logo is bigger as well. And um, in previous iPhones, they've always added a little bit of a um, made in Apple and uh, designed in California and uh, built in China. I don't think you can really see it on this one. Uh, I don't think it even says it. It usually says at the back here, but I guess they just removed it because it's kind of annoying text. But that's nothing to complain about. Um, also, um, also it has two meters water um, water resistance and up to a depth 
um, of two meters and uh, uh, and it can last till 40, 30 meters. I mean, I don't really know why you would um, really need to leave it there for 30 minutes straight and in, in two meters. But just comparing it to the iPhone 11 Pro, it has um, the iPhone 11 has a depth of four meters, which is a big difference. Uh, I wouldn't really know why. I guess um, it looks to me that they've added silicon to the sides of the phone and the outside. Um, I wouldn't really know why. I guess they probably just said that. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Um, from the back, uh, the cameras are a little bit moved up. So if I just show you from this, sorry, just from this center, um, uh, you can just see it kind of just moves up like a little bump. So the ca the phone is kind of uneven, which isn't. I would really rate that as a con because if you're using it without a case, which I would, would advise you not to do because it could like break or damage and um, as it only has like a glass back it can easily be damaged. So that's that's just admire the back. <laughs> and then I think this is the ultra wide camera and then the wide camera. It doesn't come with a telephoto camera, uh, I guess the Pro does and it also comes with night mode. Um, um, and it comes in with even better optical image stabilization whereas last year's model had a dual optical image stabilization so I really shouldn't I really don't know what the um, the difference is but um, later in the video I'll show you like um, how it does video recording and things like that I have seen other reviews and um, it has shown that this this phone is more natural it has more natural photos and recording whereas the Huawei um, 30 Pro and the Samsung 10 have um, less natural. They move, they use more of a um, uh, kind of they kind of edit your um, camera, and I I think you can reverse that, but I'm not sure. So um, it also has um, it can also control the ed um, the portrait mode, which is really nice. So if I were to go and take a camera shot, you can uh, uh, um, change the blur. So just from looking at the sides, it's a bit more different. It's a square and rectangular. So to take a photo. Now if you look, if you can edit and then you can also do a lot of more things. So with this is now with iOS 13 you can change the warmth, the tint, the sharpness. So there's a, a lot more, sorry, there's a lot more um, options which is actually really nice. And this is with all available um, iOS 13 devices. So any ones like up to um, below, below iPhone 6 would not work. So 6s and above, they work perfectly fine. So um, this is open, so I guess you just hop into your um, old phone and then just enjoy. Um, it's nice that they've still kept um, um, allowing old devices because knowing Apple they really wouldn't do that, but that's nice of them. Now looking at the uh, selfie camera, just from this view, it looks very nice. So if I just look at, take a photo. Now this is a nice little feature, if I just press this button, it zooms in and out, which is a completely brand new feature and considering it only has one camera, that's really cool. So I guess if you want a more focused shot, you can just do that. Also, you can now control the amount of flash you want on your phone, which is a really nice feature and if you just hold down using haptic touch you can also just access all that menu that's like a little nice trick um, also they've added um, I think it was this Apple TV they've added another one which is called Apple TV Plus I'm not sure if it's available right now but apparently it's coming on um, November the 1st so uh, stay, tuned for, to stay tuned for that so then you can see the announcement of that too um, I think most of the, uh, the specs have been mentioned already uh, there doesn't seem to be anything else that would be really important to say during this video. Um, it also comes with a dual SIM card, just on the side uh, here. Um, I think I think you just put both of them in here. Uh, they've also put the SIM card down, so it's it used to be here, so now they've just put it down here. I think maybe it was interfering with holding the phone or the case. I'm not sure for Apple's reasoning, but I guess they did that. Um, the iPhone um, 11 Pro, however, has a four hours longer than the iPhone XS, which is a big difference, considering last year's model only had 30 minutes longer than the iPhone X. So it looks like they have been paying way more attention to the iPhone 11 Pro rather than the iPhone 11, although this device is really great. Um, 
I think they they um they still comes with wireless charging. I think they've just like kind of wanted anyone who doesn't really want an expensive phone because it's I think comes at seven hundred and fifty dollars or seven hundred pounds, which is actually fifty pounds more cheaper than last year's iPhone XR, and um, which is a big difference because why would Apple do that? They usually increase their prices, which is nice to hear from them. Um, the video playback um, wirelessly means uh, goes up to 17 hours. Uh, no headphone jack still, so um, I guess they're just going to get rid of the headphone jack forever. <laughs> and uh, Apple Pay is still here. Um, True depth cameras used for the facial recognition using the camera. And um, I think that's really it. Uh, it doesn't come with the fast charging, as I said at the beginning. Um, I just confirmed that, and it doesn't, unfortunately. Um, I think last year's model, I mean, um, the iPhone 11 Pro, it comes with a USB-C, uh, which connects to the uh, the, the plug, um, which supports the fast charging. Uh, this um, the iPhone 11 just doesn't support it, it just uses the normal USB to plug. Um, I think the only downside to this is it only has 625 nits max brightness, whereas the iPhone 11 Pro has a 800 nits brightness. So it does look really bright just from here, but if we were to compare it to the iPhone 11 Pro, then I think you would see a big contrast and a difference. Um, it's the same as last year's model's brightness, uh, which is kind of a downside. I mean, a lot of people would expect higher brightness, but it looks great from the um, top. So if we were just to open Apple, I think it's it's a bit slow, but I guess that's just because of I'm starting it up. And uh, it, it's really bright and vivid, which is really nice. And the colours are great. I think with the liquid retina display, the pros are that you actually get a really nice vivid display and it's really colourful and bright. Whereas this um the news um the new iPhone 11 Pro, you get a um XD a smart XDR display, I think that's what it's called. And I think that's a bit more different. Uh, they've actually shortened it, and I'm not sure what the actual full word uh, is called, so I guess I'll just confirm that in the description. Um, I think that's really it. There's nothing really else. New features, I guess I could do another video on the iPhone 13, um, iOS 13 and any new features, because I can't really go in that detail unless, um, unless I really want to make this video long, which I don't really need to, so I'll just leave it there. So thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe.